Welcome to the spoken tutorial on string library functions in C. In this tutorial we will learn string library functions. We will do this with the help of some examples. To record this tutorial I am using Ubuntu operating system version 11.10 GCC compiler version 4.6.1 Let us start with an introduction to string library functions. These are the group of functions implementing operations on strings. Various operations such as copying, concatenation, searching, etc. are supported. Let us see some of the string library functions. Here we have strn cpy function. The syntax for this is strn cpy char str1 char str2 and int n. It copies first n characters of string str2 into string str1. Example char strn cpy char hello char world comma 2. The output will be W O L L O. Here we have W O from the string 2 and rest of the characters from string 1. Now we will see strn cmp function. The syntax for this is strn cmp char str1 char str2 and int n. It will compare first n characters of string 2 with string 1. Example int strn cmp care ice care ice cream and 2. The output will be 0. Now we will see how to use the string library functions. I am going to show you some of the commonly used string functions. I have already typed the program on the editor. I will open it. Here we have the string length function. Note that our file name is strlen.c. In this we will find the length of the string. These are the header files as stdio.h and string.h. This is our main function. Here we have a character variable arr. It stores a value Ashwini. Then we have an integer variable len1. Here we will find the length of the string using strlen function. The result will be stored in len1. Then we print the string and the length of the string. And this is our return statement. Now let us execute the program. Open the terminal window by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. To compile type gcc space strlen dot c space hyphen o space str1. Press enter. Type dot slash str1. Press enter. The output is displayed as string equals ashwini length equals 7. You can count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let us see another string function. Here we have the string copy function. Note that our file name is strcpy.c. In this we will copy the source string into the target string. Here we have ice. In the source string it will be copied to the target string. This is our strcpy function. Here we will print the source string and the target string. Let us execute and see. Come back to our terminal. To compile type gcc space strcpy dot c space hyphen o space str2. Press enter. Type dot slash str2. Press enter. The output is displayed as source string equals to ice, target string equals to ice. Now let us see another string function. Now we will see the string compare function. Note that our file name is strcmp.c. In this we will compare two strings. Here we have character variables as str1 and str2. str1 stores the value as ice and str2 stores the value as cream. 
Here we have integer variables as i and j. In this we will compare the string using the strcmp function. Here we compare str1 that is i's with hello. The result is stored in i. In this we will compare string 2 that is cream with cream. The result is stored in j. Then we print both the results. And this is our return statement. Let us execute the program. Come back to our terminal. To compile type gcc space str cmp dot c space hyphen o space str3. Press enter. Type dot slash str3. The output is displayed as 1 comma 0. Come back to our program. Here we get 1 and here we get as 0. Let us move back to our slides. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we learned string library functions strlen, strcpy, strcmp, strncpy and strncmp. As an assignment, write a C program to concatenate string best and string bus. Hint, str cat, care, str1, comma care, str2. Also explore the other functions in string library. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.